Welcome. My name is Dennis Kohut, and I serve as Swampscott High School's principal. It is my honor to present these awards. I want to welcome our students, their families, the staff, and all the generous donors who make this presentation possible. Despite the pandemic, this very special Swampscott community tradition to honor and recognize the academic accomplishments of our seniors continues. We also want to recognize the love and support that comes from families, the instruction that comes from teachers, and the support and guidance from counselors and staff. Each of the awards presented here represents years of hard work by the student, but also represent years of investment by the entire Swampscott community. So before we begin, I would like to congratulate all the students here tonight for all they have contributed to the high school's success. I also want to extend a special thank you to all our families, friends, teachers, and staff for their support of our students. Please keep in mind that, due to the closure, awards will be mailed to recipients at a later date. We'll begin with the Honor Graduate Medals. These go to seniors who have achieved a cumulative, unweighted average of 90 or above for four years. Recipients are Charlotte Andrews, Olivia Chavez, Georgia Silly, Andrew Cronin, Madison Dahlberg, Ella Daniels Co., Ashley Engstrom, Leonie Flacco, Mia Fredo, Jamie Gaber, Callie Hopkins, Morgan Lenahan, Anna Levenberg, McKenna Lord, Gia Maeta, Tyler Marshall, Ian McCray, Jack Miller, Amanda Marizzi, Lucy Naughton, Madeline O'Brien, Alexa Papazaglo, Isabella Perot, Grace Rapasarda, Diana Shalamova, Andrew Turcott, Olivia Wozniak, Jared Wallen, Stephen Whipple, Riley Werzer, and Sarah Zanger. Service Medals To seniors who made significant service to Swampscott High School, Samantha Dowd, Ashley Engstrom, Leona Flacca, Anna Levenberg, McKenna Lord, Lucy Naughton, and Hannah Swanstrom. Two traditional awards given to seniors are the Phillips Gold and Silver Medals. The Gold Medal is for all-around academic excellence, and the Silver Medal is for excellence in English. The Gold Medal for Academic Excellence goes to Leonie Flacca, and the Silver Medal for Excellence in English goes to Lucy Naughton. Principal's Award for a senior who has given unselfishly to the school, who is of good character, who is dedicated to working for his or her classmates throughout the past four years, and who has worked closely and cooperatively with the administration on issues affecting the school. Principal's Award recipient is McKenna Lord. The General John R. Chasen Memorial Scholarship to a senior whose character and leadership as a student and athlete have been of high caliber, who is in good standing scholastically, and who is planning to continue their education. It goes to Madeline O'Brien. The Matthew J. Kamen Award, given to a senior who has demonstrated selfless service to the Swampscott High School community and also serves as a strong role model, Sammy Dowd. The Sandra Rotner Community Volunteer Award, to a senior boy or girl who is an unsung hero and gives unselfishly of themselves to the community and to Swampscott High School. It goes to Ashley Velez to Thomas. The Sarah Beth Milberg Charitable Foundation Scholarships. There are two. This scholarship is given to two seniors in memory of Sarah, who was a 1977 graduate of Swampscott High School. Tim Driscoll and Darian Wolf. The Derek M. Sheckman Peer Award in memory of Derek Sheckman, class of 1997, this award is given to a senior voted by her classmates, a person who knows how to be a true friend, someone you can trust and is compassionate and sensitive to others, someone who has genuine commitment to the school and community, and who has contributed through volunteer service, shows leadership qualities, and someone with a sense of humor and a positive attitude. The recipient is Ariana Casella. The Edna Stalker Scholarship Part of the Essex Community Foundation, awarding three scholarships to deserving students. The scholarship committee selected these three recipients based on merit, 
and commitment to their academic program. Madison Dahlberg, Amanda Marizzi, and Sarah Zanger. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Latoya Vinbona, also known as Miss O, and I'm the Swampscott Public Schools Micro Director. The Tenacity Award for 2020 goes to a student who persevered through their time in Swampscott despite adversity. They've grown into an exceptional young person, and I can't wait to see what their future holds. Congratulations to Zacchaeus Palmer, the 2020 Tenacity Award winner. The next award goes to students who strive to bridge gaps between different populations in Swampscott High School. We have a diverse community and these students effortlessly make it a point to be inclusive, collaborative, and kind. They've been integral to SOCA and the school community. They have partnered with different clubs and in creating displays, speaking, and planning events for the Swampscott Public Schools community. Congratulations to the Bridge Award recipients, Shayla Gutierrez, Anea Darius, and Daniela Soto. The Leadership Award goes to a student who has grown into a leader over their time in Swampscott Public Schools. This student has been attending Swampscott Public Schools since the first grade. Although this student has had a challenging experience here, they harness their frustration into creating a better community for all students. Over the past two years, this student has grown academically and in their school citizenship, so much so that they became an e-board member for the Students of Color Advisory, and they work diligently to become a voice for many. The 2020 Metco Leadership Award goes to Navita Davis. It's been an honor and a privilege to work in Swampscott over the past six years, and I'm especially happy to be continuing a tradition here tonight by presenting this year's senior Metco class with their Kente class stoles. Navita Zacchaeus, please reach for your kente stoles. Kente cloth is a traditional West African, specifically Ghanaian garment, typically worn by royalty and during festive occasions. Each Adinkra symbol holds meaning as do the colors. Gold and yellow stand for status, serenity, and fertility. Green stands for renewal, white stands for cleansing, red stands for passion, and black stands for union with ancestors and spiritual awareness. The black stole symbolizes maturity, unity, and inclusion. It demonstrates that the student has found a sense of self that only comes with grounding and maturity. The black stole also signifies the growth of educational opportunity and students' access to education, despite obstacles inherited from past centuries that still plague educational access. Kente, for many, bridges two continents and countries in between, evoking and celebrating a shared cultural heritage. This kente cloth stole is bestowed as a traditional gift to be worn during commencement exercises now and in the future. Navita, Zacchaeus, this is my gift to you. I'm so proud of you guys. And congratulations to you and your families. And congratulations to the class of 2020. Hello, my name is Emily Borden, and I'm the teacher of the Discovery Learning Center and advisor for the Innovators Club. I have the honor to award 12 Discovery Leadership Awards and two Innovate Awards today. I'll start with the Innovator Award, an award for students who have become creative in ways to incorporate the Discovery Learning Center into their daily lives. This first recipient is getting an award for becoming a reliable and innovative friend to another peer. This person invited their buddy into their lives, helped them navigate high school, friends, social media, and was always the first to make sure their buddy was involved in every senior activity possible, even junior prom. This young lady has helped their friend develop friends and a sense of belonging in the Swampscott community. We loved having her stop by the DLC. She always brightens each student's day. This award goes to McKenna Lord. Congratulations. Our next recipient is a student who has been a part of the DLC family for three years. His community involvement and character development have made him into an exemplary young man. He has become a fantastic Discovery Brew coffee cart employee, and when he is on the job, always makes each person he comes in contact with feel important and welcome. His artistic talent has brought new activities into the DLC 
helping us develop new business ideas and hobby practices in all areas of the school. This young man will become a post-grad student in the following year, and we can't wait to see where his business endeavors in the DLC lead him. This award goes to Kelvin Anguieta Manaya. Our next award for the DLC is the Discovery Leadership Award. This award goes to students who have participated in the TA intern position throughout a portion of their senior year. These interns demonstrate on a daily basis their dedication to the human services by putting themselves in a leadership position, stepping out of their comfort zone, and putting their needs of their community over the needs of themselves. These interns have participated in community-based learning projects, assisting students learn important independent skills such as community safety, daily living home practices like grocery shopping and cooking, these awardees have taken a manager role at the school store, helping their employees feel confident and comfortable, learning new skills, and working with the community at large. Most importantly, these interns have become social advocates, helping at-risk students integrate into the fabric of the Big Blue community. These interns have helped students feel welcome, not only in the classroom where teachers are watching, but in the hallways, the cafeteria, at sporting events, and on weekends at the stores. It's incredibly important to find young men and women each year to fill this intern position. We couldn't create the family atmosphere that we strive for in the DLC without these interns and their very big hearts. We will miss you and we can't wait to hear about the amazing things you do in the future. The Discovery Leadership Award goes to 12 recipients this year. And they are Graham and Zana, Nick Reiser, Anton Vasquez, Georgia Silly, Meg Bettinelli, Natalie Dominicani, Jamie Gaber, Navita Davis, Alyssa Beats, Kat Ospina, Vicki Reed, Ashley Velez de Thomas. Congratulations, everyone. On behalf of the Wellness Department, this is Mrs. Lavender presenting the Senior Awards for 2020. Before I begin, I want to congratulate all of our seniors on a fabulous four years at Swampscott High School. It was a pleasure to see you mature into young adults, and I wish you well in the fall. You will definitely be missed. The first award for the Wellness Department is for Outstanding Contribution to Health Class. The award winners are Sarah Zanger, Lucy Naughton, and Leonie Flack. Congratulations. The next awards for outstanding character and performance in physical education. This year's recipients are Cassidy Ryan, Benjamin Armour, Leonie Flackey, Andrew Chip Cronin, Alexa Pepazaglu, Andrew Turcott, Anna Levenberg, Oscar Hale, Sky Bascone, and Darian Wolf. Congratulations. For outstanding contribution to the physical education leadership program this year's recipient is Dylan January. For outstanding leadership in ADL, this year's recipient is Lucy Naughton. Congratulations to all our award winners and once again to all of our seniors. Congratulations to the class of 2020 on behalf of the Fine and Practical Arts Department. On behalf of business, the DECA Emerging Leader Award to Ashley Engstrom, Yearbook Awards to Nora LaPlante, Morgan Lenahan, Madeline O'Brien, and Hannah Swanstrom. On behalf of Visual Arts, Excellence in 3D Art and Design to Navita Davis, Sean Callahan, Madison Schaefer, and Calvin Manaya Anguera. Excellence in Ceramics. McKenna Lord, Nicole Murray, Alexa Mignon, 
and Alexander Kern. Excellence in Photography, Benjamin Quigley, Ella Daniels Co. Exceptional Arts Teaching Assistants, Ariana Casella, Ugne Corticate. Excellence in Studio Art 4, Kaylee Hopkins. Excellence in AP Studio Art, Benjamin Amour. Cassidy Ryan. And the RISD Book Award goes to Maggie Connor. On behalf of Music and Theater Arts, the Swampscott High School Band Award, Madison Dahlberg, Emerson Swartz. Percussion Captain Award, Timothy Driscoll. The Drum Major Award, to Jack Miller. And the Director's Award, to Olivia Chavez. The Walter Brennan Drama Award is named for the veteran character actor and three-time Academy Award winner, Walter Brennan, who was born in Swampscott. And that goes to Isabel Denham. The Edward Sullivan Memorial Award is named for the famous entertainment writer and television host of The Ed Sullivan Show from 1948 to 1971. And that goes to Lucy Naughton. The Outstanding Newcomer to Chorus Award to Chip Cronin. The Swampscott High School Chorus Award to four-year veteran member Sarah Zanger. And finally, the Dr. George and Mrs. Janet Pierce Award, which was established in 2007 by the Swampscott High School Chorus. It is in memory of Dr. George and Mrs. Janet Pierce. Janet Pierce was known for her work with Girl Scouts and the literacy volunteers of Greater Syracuse, sitting on the boards of each. Dr. George Pierce was a professor of analytical chemistry at Lemoyne College in Syracuse, New York. Both Dr. and Mrs. Pierce loved travel and the arts. The Janet and George Pierce Memorial Scholarship goes to a graduating senior who possesses outstanding character, sense of humor, and a true love of the arts. And this year that goes to Amanda Marisi. Congratulations once again to the class of 2020. We wish you the very, very best. It is my pleasure to award the Science Department Class of 2020 Awards for Outstanding Academic Achievement. In Advanced Placement Chemistry, Ashley Angstrom and Ian McRae. Advanced Placement Physics, Leonie Flackey. Anatomy and Physiology, Agne Curdite and Nicole Murray. Forensics, Madison Dahlberg and Ian McRae. Green Scholars, Ashley Angstrom. Introduction to Computer Science, Madeline O'Brien and Aidan Pulaski. Physics, Margaret Krawitz, Jack Miller, and Jared Whalen. Robotics One, Matthew Potashnikov and Daniel Rosen. STEM certificates have been earned by Charlotte Andrews, Leonie Flackey, and Harris Havelchuk. 
The final Science Department Award is named for the former Science Department Chair, Joseph Balsama, and is given to a senior who has demonstrated increasing interest in science over their four years at Swampscott High School. This year's recipient is Shayla Gutierrez. Congratulations to the class of 2020. This is Jessica Gondias, the World Language Department Chair for Swampscott High School. And I'm very pleased to be here to announce the World Language Senior Awards for 2020. Our department has two types of awards. Uh, we have the Excellence in Academic Awards, and these go to students who have consistently demonstrated a serious commitment to improve their language skills inside and outside of the classroom throughout their years of world language studies. These students have not only excelled academically, but they are globally minded. They have regularly gone beyond what has been required in order to challenge themselves. They have embraced learning about other cultures and have been a positive role model for their peers. So that's the Excellence in Academics Award. We also have the Excellence in Initiative Award, and that goes to the student who has shown grit, perseverance, persistence, creativity, and resilience throughout their years of world language study. These students have regularly gone beyond what's been required in order to challenge themselves. They have not given up when the going has gotten difficult and they have shown great improvement and growth. So I'd like to start with our Spanish Five Awards. For Spanish Five, our excellence in academics is being presented to Olivia, Olivia Vosniuk and our excellence in initiative to Isabella Martin. Our AP Spanish Excellence Awards, the excellence in academics is being presented to Charlotte Andrews and the excellence in initiative is being presented to Andrew Turcott. For AP French, the Excellence in Academics Award is being given to Lucy Naughton, and the Excellence in Initiative is being given to Harris Havlicek. I am also very pleased to be able to announce the winner of the American Association of Teachers of French Award. To qualify for this award, a student must have maintained an A average in French and a B average overall. He or she must be in her, his or her senior year, have demonstrated exceptional commitment to the study of French by participating in extracurricular activities related to French. The student must have completed three years of formal French study and be a non-native speaker of French. I'm pleased to announce the recipient of this year's award is Sarah Zenger. Every year we also uh, give the French national exam, the Grand Concours, and this year Leonie Flacky will be receiving a silver medal for her performance on the level four French exam. We are also pleased to announce that Swampscott High School is participating in the Massachusetts State Seal of Biliteracy Program. Uh, to qualify for this award, students must demonstrate a proficiency in both English and another language. They're assessed on their reading, writing, speaking, and oral comprehension in English and other world languages. This award honors the importance of world language acquisition, and it celebrates the multiple cultures and languages that we have in our community. I am pleased to announce that Margaret Krawitz earned her Massachusetts State Seal of Biliteracy with distinction in Spanish and English. And Leonie Flacky has received her Massachusetts State Seal of Biliteracy with distinction in German, Spanish, French, and English. 
Thank you very much, and co- congratulations to all. Social Studies Department Awards, 2020. Superior Achievement in AP Psychology. Awards to Lucy Naughton, Leonie Flacke, and Ashley Engstrom. Superior Achievement in AP Economics. Award to Ian McRae. Superior Achievement in AP European History. Award to Oscar Hale. Superior Achievement in Political Action Club. Awards to Leonie Flacke, Ella Daniels Cope, and Avery Upton. Superior Achievement, Economics Through Games. Genevieve Dishman and Jamie Gaber. Superior Achievement, Intro to U.S. Government. Award to Andrew Turcott. Hi, seniors. I'm here to award the Global Competency Certificate. Global Competency is a program that goes above and beyond the minimum graduation requirements. It includes a four-year sequence of foreign languages, international travel, international-based community service, as well as a capstone project. This year, we have two recipients, Charlotte Andrews and Jamie Gerber. Congratulations, ladies. Hi, my name is Joe Dulek. I'm the Media Arts Instructor at Swampscott High School, and I'm here to announce the Excellence in TV and Film Production Awards for 2020. This award goes to a student who creates a professional, respectful environment for students and audience alike, demonstrates a passion for creating works of media art, strives to better oneself through continuous refinement of ideas and skills, excels in one or more areas of media arts production, is always willing to support her or his peers in their work with a critical eye and a helping hand, and volunteers as often as possible to use her or his skills to benefit the entire school district and the town of Swampscott. This year, the Excellence in TV and Film Production Award goes to Sasha Danilov, Sammy Dowd, Leonie Flack, Luca Gallucci, Michael Karavich, Jacob Olson, and Seth Olson. Congratulations to all of you. Hi, I'm Tom Reed, teacher of media literacy at Swampscott High School. I'd like to start by congratulating all of the award winners. I think this is a very important award because it celebrates long-term achievement. It means that you've built a relationship over time with a teacher who has really come to respect you. It means you've gotten up every morning and come to school and done whatever you needed to do, sometimes by yourself, sometimes with other students, but always carefully, thoughtfully, creatively, and consistently. And I think those are the qualities that are really going to help you succeed in the future. I have seven awards to give to media literacy students for excellence in media literacy. These are students who've achieved every goal I would have hoped for them. They've developed their critical thinking skills. They've developed their listening and speaking skills. And they've developed greater empathy from multiple perspectives the perspectives in the films and other media that we study, and the perspectives of all the students as we share them in our class discussions. These students were also teaching assistants. They helped me in countless ways. They all would come to school before school opened to discuss the day's class and help make it as good as possible. In fact, now that we're doing Zoom, they all come to the Zoom classes a few minutes before the other students and talk about how to make it as effective as we can. They've also been generally so helpful in transitioning from teaching media literacy in our classroom to teaching it online. So I'm happy to give the awards for excellence in media literacy to Ella Daniels-Koch, Mia Fredo, Kaylee Hopkins, Odin Randall, Brooke Stout, Andrew Turcott, and Avery Upton. I really hope when this pandemic is done that the school will open, you can come visit me in my classroom, and I can congratulate you in person. But for now, I guess this will have to do. I want to congratulate you and, again, all of the students. I know you're going to go out and do great things. I hope you'll all use the media thoughtfully and carefully, figure out what you believe, and vote, and change the world and make it a better place. 
Thank you and good luck. Hello, my name is Ms. Montero and I'm presenting the Math Department Awards. Recipients of our Academic Excellence Awards have distinguished themselves academically and have also contributed to a collegial classroom environment. We congratulate you and we wish you continued success. For our first award, the Stephen David Jocknowitz Memorial Award. This is awarded to the top math student who has demonstrated superior understanding of the mathematical concepts throughout all four years. And the award goes to Ian McRae. The American Mathematics Competition 12 school winner. This year, approximately 50 of our top math students took the Distinguished and Challenging National AMC exam. Our school's top score on the AMC 12 was Timothy Driscoll. And now for our Academic Excellence Awards. For Academic Excellence in AP Calculus AB, Andrew Turcott. For Academic Excellence in AP Statistics, Andrew Cronin. For Academic Excellence in Honors Calculus, Morgan Lenihan. For Academic Excellence in Intro to Calculus, Jamie Gaber. For Academic Excellence in Pre-Calculus, Madison Dahlberg. For Academic Excellence in Algebra 3, Jillian Burke. Once again, Class of 2020, congratulations, and we wish you continued success.